Hi guys, my name is Ali. I'm a medical student here in Southern California. What I'd like to do today is give you some recommendations on what to carry around with you in your white coat pockets. Now, this is definitely not an exhaustive list of things to bring, but it's definitely some of the common things that you're going to want to bring, and it's going to vary depending on what rotation you're on. Now, if you're in neurology, it's going to be more of one thing. If it's surgery, it's going to be more of another thing. Now with that in mind, I'd like to go ahead and start off with what stethoscope I like to use. And that is this one right over here. It's the 3M Littman Cardiology 3 stethoscope. This is the one that I recommend to all my friends and colleagues. And it's the one that I have good heart sounds, good lung sounds, good bowel sounds. Basically, as long as it's a stethoscope with really good high quality sounds, that's the one that I recommend for you. That one's just personally recommended by me. The next thing I recommend is a pen light. Definitely carry this one around with you throughout your rotations. Any pen light will do. This one just came with my PD kit through the school. And carry this one around in your breast coat pocket. It's very important to have with you. The next thing to carry around with you is a good reflex hammer. Reflex hammers come in all shapes and sizes. This is the one that I use. This is the one that my friend uses. And as long as you can elicit really good reflexes with that hammer, that's the one that's for you. This one happens to be the Babinski telescoping uh, reflex hammer and this one a lot of neurologists like to use this one and it's the one that I recommend for people. The next thing to bring with you are tuning forks and there's the 256 hertz tuning fork and the 512 hertz tuning forks. These are very important especially if you're on a rotation like neurology or if you're on a rotation like internal medicine and let's say you have an uh, you have a patient with a suspected stroke, then these are very important things to carry around with you in your white coats because you want to have a really good neurological physio physical exam and these are important to carry around with you. The next thing I would recommend is Maxwell's Quick Medical Reference Book. This is a very good book. It's very cheap. It's, good. it's a good bang for your buck kind of book. It's like $5 on Amazon and it has a lot of things that you're going to have really a uh, good use for. So the ACLS algorithm, the normal lab values, the Glasgow Coma Scale, your dermatome map, your neurological exam, your mental status exam, all this stuff is in this and also your eye exam. And it's really nice to carry around with you also in your breast coat pocket. So I definitely recommend this one. Another thing that I used to carry with me, especially during the early parts of my third year, was this right over here. It's called the White Coat Clipboard. It's uh, about, I think, 35 or 40 bucks. I don't really carry this around with me as much as I used to, but it also has nice references on the back cover and over here for your papers to carry around with you in your clipboard. And it folds really nicely to organize your paperwork and put it, fit it nicely in your white coat pocket. So this was really nice to have, especially when you don't really have a nice surface to write on. Uh, this was nice to carry around with you so you could like stand and just write on it and it was, it was good to carry around with me. The next thing I recommend to use and carry around are pens. Get as many pens as you can. You're going to lose a lot of pens. You're going to give away a lot of pens. You're not going to get your pens back and just get as many pens as you can. I recommend at least three. I'm actually really particular with my pens. The cheap ones that I like to get are these Bic Atlantis ones. And then I also carry around a multicolor one uh, for my notes. And then I also have a quote unquote nice one. It's a fountain pen. I really like fountain pens. And a really good uh, starter fountain pen, if you're interested, is the Pilot Metropolitan uh, uh, fountain pen. It's really good. I think it's like 14 bucks on Amazon. Uh, link down below if you're interested to get that one. So I definitely recommend this. And yes, this is a pocket protector. You can make fun of me if you want, but I lost many a white coat because my pens would bleed through and so I'm proud to use this. So definitely bring as many pens as you can and yeah, I recommend a pocket protector, why not? So the next thing to bring is the Welsh Allen. So this is kind of like questionable to bring. It depends on what rotation you're on and if you really need it. So I was doing my otolaryngology special, a subspecialty in surgery and it was important to carry this one around with me the otoscope and ophthalmoscope because you know sometimes they were in use and like I needed it right there and then so it was nice to carry this kit with me. So this is Welsh Allen. Welsh Allen's a very well-known name, well-respected name for ophthalmoscopes and otoscopes and a lot of times you're gonna have this available at the hospital. This is just kind of like one of those that I would recommend if you if you really need it. So it comes with this, the base, uh, the uh, 
autoscope, the ophthalmoscope, and a light source that you can use also. Definitely recommended. The battery lasts a really long time. I haven't charged this maybe in like three or four months and um, it still works really well. So I definitely recommend that when it's needed. And lastly but not least is carry around with you a cell phone. Now this, this one in particular is the OnePlus. It's the OnePlus 3T and I definitely recommend this one. Um, but carry around whatever one you want. This, I'm just like an Android guy and I like OnePlus in particular. The reason I say carry around with you a, a cell phone is because you're gonna have a folder for your medical apps like this one right over here and it's important to carry this around with you because sometimes a computer is not going to be accessible or you're going to need something right there and then and it's nice to have these quick references with you now there's uh, an application and there's actually a video of my top medical apps that I recommend linked down below if you want to watch that but the main one that I really use nowadays is called LexiComp and that one has something called the five minute clinical consult and it's really nice to refresh yourself on some information and link down below if you want more information on that. So it's really nice and recommended to have not only for medical references but also you can download UWorld question bank or whatever question bank you want and do your practice questions whenever you have off time or you're doing lunch or you know things like that. So these are definitely the things I recommend. It's not an exhaustive list, as I mentioned. If you have any other recommendations, please comment below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, also please comment below. And if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Share it to as many friends as you can. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you very much. Take care.